Well, something happened last night that really, really pissed me off. And I don't know why, but for some reason, it just irked me. Two white passengers got into my vehicle last night and asked to use my auxiliary cord. And so they put on some rap music and, you know, everything was fine. Until Usher and some other artists uh, collaborated with a new song. And it was nigga this and nigga that and, you know. And my passengers were just singing along happy as ever. And it occurred to me that maybe I should stop it and I should take back my ex or whatever and, and, and stop them from, from engaging in this activity. But I said, you know, why should I do that? If Usher and every other rapper on the face of the earth could, could use the N-word openly and freely, why is it white people can't do it? And why should I stop them or restrict them or edit them? Now, it has happened in the past. White folks get in my car and they're doing the rap thing and they kind of edit the N-word when they're singing. I guess out of respect for me. But these two, like, they were totally oblivious. And I, it occurred to me that I should not try to edit them. If every rapper is using the N-word in their songs, in their conversations, why should I edit them? Now, the thing is, if we want people to have respect for us, we first must have respect for ourselves. And I, it has gotten to the point where I'm saying that these so-called African-Americans, I'm talking about in the city mostly, are a complete embarrassment to African descendants all over the world. Yes, I said it. I said it. A complete embarrassment for decent, hardworking African Americans who are trying to, to, to get ahead and, and set an example to their children. Okay, I get it. I get it. You're from the ghetto. Fine. But why do you have to take your ghetto everywhere you go? There's a place and time for everything. And so it, it, it just upset me last night. And I decided that um, I'm going to come and talk to you today about it. This is unacceptable. And I, I don't know if it's because I think Usher should have known better. But I thought back to some of the early rappers. Run DMC, Queen Latifah, LL Cool J. Did they use this kind of disparaging, disrespectful language in their music? And quite frankly, they had better music. Why do you have to use that word? Okay, let's make a deal. Instead of using the N-word in your songs, why don't you change the N-word and use the word brother? So at least we could have some kind of humanity about ourselves. Change the N-word. Same syllables. Just use, the, just use the word brother instead of nigger. Can we make a deal? Can I get you to agree on that, rappers? We have an African-American president. We have an African-American attorney general who replaced another African-American attorney general. We have had two African-American uh, uh, secretaries of state. Can you pull up your pants? Jeez. Can you show some self-respect? Can you dress like a man and stop acting like a boy? I mean, this, this stuff is just pissing me off, man. Every time I see a black man with his underwear showing, it tells me of a young man that has not grown up. Stop the insanity. Show some self-respect. As a matter of fact, some of you thugs from the ghetto is who is responsible for African Americans, decent African Americans getting shot by the police because they love they lump all of us in the same basket. You're a criminal, you're you're a thug, you're this, you're that. And all we're trying to do is feed our families and survive. This has to stop. And Usher, I'm completely disappointed in you. And little Wayne. Could you get any uglier? Stop the insanity.